Hi, this is Alan, and you're watching the Tucker Cruise in on Hot Rod Madness. Hot Rod Madness, where every car has a story. If you love rat rods, street rods, American classic muscle, even the unusual, including those ground pound and tire smoking street machines, we got them. Fire them up. Hot Rod Madness style with your host, Tim the Milkman, along with the Hot Rod Madness crew. Welcome to Hot Rod Madness. Let's travel to Tucker, Georgia for an old-fashioned cruise-in car show where they close down Main Street and fill it up with classic cars, muscle cars, and street rides. It happens the second Saturday of each month, April through September. There are plenty of surprises for Tim the Milkman to explore as these folks have truly caught the madness. Dollar Bill, come on in. What are you doing? Man, I got fresh batteries in the mic. All right. Got the GoPro charged up. Check. Check. Hey, it's the Tucker Cruise in this week on Hot Rod Madness. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to get out to uh, Tucker, Georgia, and show you some of the coolest rides they got going on there. It ought to be a good cruise in. Yeah, it ought to be. It's the first one of the year. First one of the year. Those people might have cabin fever, so stay tuned. We're going to see who shows up. Yep. Rock and roll, man. Bob, how are you, man? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> check this out, folks. Look at this. Under the hood is so finely detailed here on this. Look at this 51 Ford, Bob? 51, 51 yeah, Ford. Yeah, man, that's cool. Hey, have you been to this cruise in before? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Are you a local? Yeah, well, I live a few miles from here, okay. but yeah, local. All right, sir. Right. Man, well, you know, from up the street, when I walk past this car, I can see just the red strap around that white wall there and the grill and I'm going, oh man, look at this thing. That is gorgeous, man. Beautiful color choice, 51 Ford. Looks period correct with the flathead V8. Correct. You chromed out everything, man. Right. Original motor, there's work done on the inside of the motor, but yeah. it's it's original motor for the car. Okay, gotcha, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the AC unit's chrome, the alternator's chrome, everything's chrome, steel braided lines, you know. Wow, you done it right, Bob. It's built as a like a 50s hot rod. I don't race it, but it's built like yeah. a 50s hot rod. Yeah, sure. But I drive it a lot on the highway, a okay. lot. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's the way you enjoy it. Man. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. To give you an idea, three years ago, did you ever hear of the Lincoln Highway? Uh, uh, only heard of it. Lincoln um, Highway was the first transcontinental highway sponsored by the U.S. government. Okay. Three years ago, they celebrated their 100th anniversary. Oh, Starts in Manhattan at Times Square and ends at the Golden Gate Bridge. Ah. We did that trip. You did that trip in this we, car. We were on the road for 33 days, Woo. put on 7,900 miles. So you know this and, thing's dependable. And we're still married. <laughs> and you're still married. <laughs> she made it. You made it. Cooped up in that little bird cage in there yep. for 33 days. Wow. Yeah. How many miles you got on it now, man? Oh, God knows. I've... <laughs> I've put 80,000 on it since yeah. I got it, but okay. who knows how many on, yeah. you know, this age vehicle, you know. Bob, but that, that's, it's a fan hobby. that's fantastic. You get to enjoy the thing, man. Oh, yeah. And, you know, looking at under the hood, nah, I'd never guess you've been driving this thing. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's clean. It's clean. You'll see it. <laughs> what you have to do is you do it little at a time. Yeah. You know, people say, well, how do you keep it clean? If I tried to clean this like this every time, I'd go crazy. So I concentrate here this week. Okay. Maybe two weeks from now, I'll concentrate gotcha. there. Yeah. But you clean as you go. Yes. You know, and you and keep it clean. Two carburetors. Right. Brass fittings. Yeah. 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 They give it some pizzazz. That's yeah. cool. That looks great, man. Very detailed, you know, for a, for a driver. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. We drive it a lot. I want to look at the interior, man. Let's check it out. Hey, man. That's a straight shift car still. That's yeah. not an automatic. And, right. and you went all that distance in here three speed. It's a three speed with overdrive. Okay. Yeah. And now the interior is completely stock design. It, it's the same upholstery design. Everything inside is the same as original. There's nothing customized inside the car. Except, well, I have the little console. but And I changed the speedometer itself. But everything else is completely stock. Okay, so so you're saying the bench seat is quite comfortable still. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the outside's the same way. It's completely stock except for the hubcaps, but all the, the chrome 
everything is the same. It's not cr uh, de-chromed or chopped or channeled or anything like that. Okay. And it still gets people's heads turned. And, and gear ratio, as far as highway cruising, okay. what would you have there? It originally had a 410 rear in it. Okay. I took the 410 out and I put a 373 rear. Yeah. So I could travel at 70 miles an hour. Yeah. No you problem. Go. You know. Yeah, that that'll work. Yeah. Not bad at all. I put a, a two sway bars. I got a sway bar on the front and a sway bar on the back. Mm -hmm. And then with radial tires, it it makes it cruise like a new car. Yeah. You know. Okay. But, uh, it's a lot of fun. I, oh, sure. It'd be a lot of fun. Check this out. Pardon me, sir. Do you have any gray poupon? But of course. <laughs> he does have some. Dennis, how are you, man? I'm doing just fine. Me too, man. I'm out here looking at some killer rides on the street of Tucker. This is Main Street, correct? Yes, it sure is. Are you local around here? I've lived here. I've lived in Tucker in the whole Tucker area since uh, about, I'd say, 57. Okay. I was just a little baby then. Man, you've been coming to these cruise ins for quite a while, right? Ever since yeah. they uh, started them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's been a long time ago, right? It's been quite a few years mm -hmm. since they started. I didn't have my car at the time. Okay. It wasn't ready, but uh, since I got it ready, I'm, I've been coming to them. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. And what year is it? 64. 64 Fairlane 500 badges on the side of it. Yeah. Now, is that a correct 500? Not really. It originally was uh, just a basic 64 Fairlane. My mother okay. uh, bought it. Yeah. And... Uh, We've kept it in the family, and I drove it in high school, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it restored, and uh, been driving it to the cruise ends and all. There we go, high performance 302 stamped right on the air cleaner, yeah. aluminum intake, some really cool Ford Motorsport valve covers. You got it going on there, Dennis. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah I, uh, I when I uh, got it restored, I I wanted. Uh, the just a small V8. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to. I didn't want to go the Thunderbolt. Oh sure, okay. And everything, the big 427 and all. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted something to kind of keep it, uh, kind of original the way it was when when I had it in high school and when we had it and everything. Well, in my opinion, what you've done here is you've created an enjoyable driver right. where you can get around to the cruise ends, right. go enjoy it. Man, that's that's the way to do it. Loving the engine bay. It's all clean. Uh, Satin, flat black, whatever you want to call it. It looks great on that engine there. Oh, it does, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Mr. William, how are you, sir? I'm doing fine, doing fine, thank you. Doing fine out here on the streets of Tucker. The sun is shining on your Plymouth, man. What year is that? 1958. 58. So how long have you owned it, sir? Since 1958, April 1958. About took it from Wallington Motor Company in Clint, Tennessee. Wow. So it's an original Tennessee car. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, I hot rod a lot, me and my brother-in-law. Really? And, uh, yeah. Man, I'm, I'm looking through the glass on this baby. And, and everything seems to be intact. I mean, you can't keep the people off of it, folks. Uh, he, Dollar Bill going to have people walking in, in between him and the camera to see the car. That's an iconic car. You know, they made a movie about the 58 Plymouth Fury, right? Right. Well, they didn't know what they had, but the Plymouth Fury it was only come in this color, buckskin beige. Okay. And you had to order them. When they made Christine, they crushed up a bunch of Plymouths. 43 M, <clears throat> I think it was. Yeah. But they went to Belvedere and Savoy and all of gotcha. Mopar parts. Right. Made furies out of, you know, a quick yeah. trick camera work can do. Oh, oh, sure. Yeah. You know, they can come up with anything they want and put it on camera. Right. This is the real deal is what you're saying. That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. You, you ordered everything. You could order a, a six-cylinder. You could order a V8. Or you buy a 318, and, but this is the first year the 340 came out. Or three, and uh, it's a Mopar 340 with two fours. Wow. And uh, 57 had the ram, but 56 had a white color. But th this is the color in 57, but they had the ram induction system. And this one had the two fours with the overhead cam. Oh, 
yeah. high compression engine. So, so it's the original 2-4 setup, right. the, the original engine, matching numbers, all period correct? All period correct, showroom ready. So have you ever had the car painted? It's been painted, yeah. it's been restored, yes. Yeah. Okay. My cousin there, and, uh, Steve Loy in Clinton, restored it for me, but he's got health problems like I've got, so. Yeah, uh, yeah you know, uh, uh, wow, that's amazing, you kept it all. I, I'm never able to keep one that long, you know? There's no way I could do that, you know? I'm way too impatient. You, my friend, have all the patience in the world. That's, that's just, uh, that's fantastic, man. Well, I kid my wife about this is what got us attracted. Her yeah. brother had a 58 Plymouth yeah. convertible. I got, I had this first, and, and there's none doubt running it in Clinton as yet. It, it, it had never been beat. But it'd do 100 mile, 150 mile an hour around level ground on Marlowe Straits. 150 mile an hour? 150 mile an hour, just the way it's set. What? Man, how about that? Wow, I mean, that's a, that's a big car. How does it handle it 100 mile an hour? That's huge, man. Well, at that age, that I was young, 21 yeah. years of age, I didn't pay no attention about it. <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, set up, there you go. You got your Elder Brock's on there. I had, you, to, I had to get Elder Brock. They bought yeah. the company, that, but the original, I've got the original carburetors that goes on there. Yeah, but okay. uh, I see. But I had to get these, get new ones. You can buy it new and cheap. You can buy the kits to rebuild them. Oh, oh yeah, sure. I, I'd this, imagine this, you can. This has got four disc brakes and a disc master cell, all of it's discs. <laughs> Because you couldn't stop it in a 10 acre field, you know, you just slow it down. <laughs> but it's got a booster brake on it, and all this stuff you had to order extra to get it. And okay, so that, that, that thing's the brake booster. That's right, right. that's an odd looking brake booster, man. Yeah. Where'd you get that? It came with it, it came on the factory. Oh, okay. But but the cylinder was a, it had a dual master cylinder on it, but it just didn't have the braking power that I thought it should have for a disc brake. Gotcha, so you replaced the master cylinder and not the brake yeah. booster. It's okay. got it's got a Dodge master cylinder for disc brakes. Yeah. And the Dodge parts here on the disc wow. brakes. Man. All of it is all of it Mopar parts, bolt right on, bolt off. Yeah, you still got the generator over there, man. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Twelve volt generator. Yes. Everybody well, advised to go to twelve volt alternator, but I I wanted to keep it original. Yeah, and you also got the original washer fluid bag over there. Correct. Back then they just had bags, right? Yeah, the bags is all they had. <laughs> And that none of them worked then, they no, won't work no. now. <laughs> it didn't work then, it don't work now, no, he says. No. <laughs> that's awesome, man. You kept the thing alive all this year, all this time. That that's wow. We're gonna honor him right here on yeah, Hot Rod. I'll hey, shake my hand, sir. Thank that's you so that's much. a phenomenal job right. keeping this car that many years, you thank know? You, you. Hey man, what's your name? Jim Burke. Hey Jim. Looking at your open Open wheel hot rod here, man. You can see it from all the way up there, man, how big them tires are, man. What are those, 33s? What's 33s, that? 33s, yeah. yeah. Hey, to me, that's the only way to sport an open wheel hot yeah, rod, yeah, buddy. Yeah. That's tough, man. What year is that body? 1930. 30. Yeah. Are you a local around here? Uh, I live in Conyers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You drove it a little ways, didn't you? Uh, yeah, it's, it's been driven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you this, man. Will it really turn those 33s over? Yeah. Yeah, it'll turn them. It likes them. <laughs> Would you get in trouble if we did a burnout here? Uh, you have to ask the guy up front. <laughs> got to ask the guy up front, he says. Uh, shotgun bill, little supercharger, small block Chevrolet. Man, that thing's cool, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you build it? Yes, I did. Yeah, I bought it. It came from a family in Kentucky. Okay. I went to a big car show in Kentucky, and an old guy had it there, and it yeah. was just a regular car with a single carburetor. Yeah. And I brought it home at the end of last year and did all this to it. So, nice. yeah, put it on steroids. A lot of fun, right? Oh, yeah. Charlie, how are you, sir? I'm good, Tim. How are you? Yeah, man, I'm fantastic, buddy. I was out here looking at some really cool cars, man. And, you know, Hudson pickup. That's so different, man. You don't see them every day. Yeah, you don't see them. Hudson Big Boys. I don't know exactly how many of these things they made. I bet you it wasn't a whole lot. I don't think so. I don't know the exact numbers. Yeah, but I'm me sure. either. Yeah. They started off, I believe, in the 30s making the Hudson Big Boys. Okay. Yeah. All right, sir. And, and according to the nose on this thing, um, I'm guessing 40s? What have you got? 46 here, 46? Mark. 46, yep. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right, you know, I saw a red one once. And it was the oddest looking truck. The nose is too long. 
the bed's too long and it's weird looking. However, it's cool. Man, these things are cool. I mean, you don't see nothing <laughs> no, else like no, them. You don't, right? Yeah, yeah. They're different. And Hudson only made cars, you know, primarily. Man, when they got into the trucks, boy, they they just went nuts, right? I love it. I yes. Love it. Yes, yep. I bet you do. Yep. And uh, I don't know. Has it got the original running gear in it? Because oh, I don't no, know. No, this is a, this is hot rodded. Is uh, it? It's, it's got a. 454 in it, TH400 transmission, oh, oh, 76 okay. Camaro front clip, uh, really? disc brakes all around. Hmm. Uh, it's just a fun little car. I just actually just purchased it from a okay. gentleman in St. Augustine yeah, yeah. last week, registered it yesterday and brought it to the show today. Hey, you know, nowadays, I guarantee you it's a lot cheaper to buy them already running oh, yeah, than it is to try to build it, right, Charlie? Right. You got that right. Yeah. Yep. Man, it's, it's got the uh, correct badges here on the side. Correct. You got your nose emblem here, the trim down the you got side. The front emblem in the front that lights up at night. Ah, yeah, it, it, cool. it still works? Yeah, the Hudson. Yep, yeah, so. that's cool. Yep. Nice, Charlie. Sweet. You know, the dash in this thing, the, the overall interior in these things are quite different, too. I was looking at the, uh, the upholstery and the dash and all. You remember when you was a kid, your grandparents had that old radio over in the corner? You oh, know, yeah, that, yeah. that's kind of what the dash that's looks the like. It yeah, looks crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, I got new gauges in there, but the dash, the, yeah. the radio, and the glove box are all original. Yeah. yeah. What unique styling, right? Oh, yeah, huh. without a doubt. <laughs> Hi, my name is Candace, and you're watching Hot Rod Madness. How are you, sir? Great, good to meet you. And you? Hey, great. What's your name, lady? Donna Sanders. Donna Sanders and? Mark Sanders. Mark Sanders, you're the owners of the lovely little bug here. That's right, from Conyers, Georgia, the 62 bug, the Sanders. Yes, Man, that's a cool little bug. I like the color choice on it. I mean, you, you don't see that color a lot on the bugs, right? It's an original color for that Is car. It? Yeah, not the original paint, obviously, but original color. Okay, what do you, what do you call that color? It, it's golf blue. Golf blue. Yeah, you were telling me earlier, it's really her car, right? Yeah, she yeah. probably knows more about it than yeah. I do. Oh, I love it. It's Your a lot of fun. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of fun riding in it. Uh -huh. yeah. Three speed, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You drive a three speed. I think it has overdrive. Does it? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a four oh, speed. It's a four speed. <laughs> she, said, she calls that fourth gear overdrive. Yeah, hey, that's wish. cool. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, use it like overdrive. Why not, right? That thing slammed on the ground. You got some cool looking paint on this thing man love the bugs i mean they're so iconic and you guys kept this one alive in line with all these other bugs here and this one stood out a little so i had to come over and say hey man i love your bug well i sure appreciate it. it's a lot of fun and mm -hmm. we were riding down the road and these guys invited us to be part of their party today we don't really know them but now we do now you do. Yep. Now you're going to be part of a, a bug club now, probably. That's what happens. If you own a VW, you're yes. family. <laughs> Who pinstriped this baby? A guy named Jason over in Snellville did it. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, the Volkswagen emblem's turned upside down. Oh, it I made it into an M for Mark. For Mark. Yeah, that's how, you see what he did to your car? I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. But that should be a D for Donna. But Jason Buckner is the guy that did this, and he and he is uh, not a professional. It's just something he does, and he does a great job. He did it inside the headlights. Oh, let me see this. Oh yeah, check that out. He he striped inside the the buckets there for the headlights. That that's awesome. You kept all the badges going on here. You got the roof rack and the ore. You got. What is that? Ski poles. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, I can do both, you know, ski yeah. in. <laughs> the back seat's just big enough for some luggage there. That's cool. Antique the, luggage, yeah. Yes, antique nostalgia luggage. I can tell you guys have a blast in this little car, right? How far have you been in it? About this far. <laughs> no, no, yeah. we've gone to, we've gone a couple hours away and yeah, to okay. a car show before in it. Yeah. 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 It rides good. Yeah. Well, no matter... No matter how far they've gone in it, you see them smiles? <laughs> Look at that. There you go. That's what it's all about, my friends. Matthew Fowler. I read your name right off the tag on your car here. Yep. Check it out, folks. 64 Mercury Marauder, right? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1964 Mercury Park Lane Marauder. Yeah. They built 2,721 of them. Mm -hmm out of a total of around 120,000 full-size Mercuries for 64. 
Okay, so so that's maybe why I haven't seen the Marauder badges around very often. I mean, really, if you think about it, you don't see that very often. That, that's kind of rare stuff. Right. The Marauder means that it's a fastback model. Okay. Most of the Mercuries for 64 and 63 as well were breezeways, mm -hmm. meaning the back window rolled down behind the back seat. But on the Marauders, it was a fixed fastback back window, just like on the 63 and 64 Fords as well. Okay, there you go. There's the difference. I mean, who knew until you asked the owner, right? I mean, that's, that's something that you don't hear every day. You don't see the car every day. You put a set of torque thrust polished wheels on this baby, and it looks fantastic on the white paint job, man. Did you do that? Yeah, thank you. I put those uh, American Torque Thrust, American Racing Torque Thrust, mm -hmm. uh, back in 2007. So okay. they've been on there about 12 years now, wow, okay. along with the uh, Goodyear Eagle One NASCAR racing tires. Nice, Eagle Ones. Yeah, you, you, you don't see those tires either. The polished wheels held up very well. I don't see no chrome chipping. Man, not bad, huh? Yeah. For 12-year-old wheels. It doesn't get out that much either, too, uh, so yeah. it's not a daily driver for sure. Gotcha. So... Interior? Is that uh, all original stuff? Yep, the interior is original. The carpet I have replaced, but the seats are the originals. Uh, it's originally a California car. It was in California until 1998, okay. at which point the previous owner had it trucked back here, and I bought it from him in 99. Hmm. And the license plate on the front is actually the original plate that came on the car. And in California, you're to have a front and rear plate, and I have the rear plate hanging up in my garage at home. Oh, sweet, man. Hey, look, I'm looking down the side of this baby, man. That piece of trim here, that's what, 20, that's over 20 feet? That's that's well over 20 feet, man, from front to rear. That's that's a heck of a piece of trim, man. Yeah, it's a, it's a long piece of trim. I don't know exactly how long in feet, but the overall length of the car is 215 inches long, okay. and it's 80 <laughs> inches wide. It's 80 inches wide. Uh, that's, that's considered a boat nowadays, man. There we go, Mercury 390. Still got the gold on the valve covers and the air cleaner, the big catch can up front. Now, that's a real catch can, man. Right. I don't, yeah. You don't see that no more. No, you don't. That's the uh, expansion tank for the radiator, and it has the original mercury embossed uh, gold valve covers. Mm -hmm. I have replaced the air intake housing, but painted it to look original with the gold as well. Yeah, so. and what kind of carburetor is that? It's a four-barrel original Ford Autolite carburetor, Autolite. rebuilt. Yeah, all right. Cool power assist brakes yep, it, and has, uh, power. It, it didn't come with AC or anything like that right no no air conditioning it has power brakes and power steering mm -hmm. uh, I did have it converted to front disc it was originally okay. four-wheel drum and at the same time I had the dual reservoir put on for the power brakes versus a single reservoir which is what it came with Wow such a big car a single reservoir you're thinking oh man this thing ain't gonna stop properly but I think you've taken care of it man that's that's, that's a wonderful car I mean really you, you talking about a boulevard cruiser there you go man you, yeah I could see you piling your whole family in this thing and cruising in it you know yeah it's it's a fun car to yeah. drive like I mentioned I've had it 20 years yeah. so I just enjoy driving it around maintaining yeah. it tinkering on it in my spare time yeah, maybe one of those that you can't sell but if somebody had deep pockets, man, what kind of value would you put on this thing? I've got it insured for 20000 okay. so I would hope that, you know, if I were sure. interested in selling it, maybe something in the upper teens or so would probably yeah. be reasonable. Okay. So, I, I would give it a good 18 to twenty grand. I mean, uh, overall originality and everything, yeah. The yes. body lines are still kept well. I noticed earlier when I shut the door on this baby, it was tight. I mean, it shut one finger. So <clears throat> with stuff like that said, the overall trim, body tightness, what it is, yeah, I'd say 20 grand, somewhere around in there. Matt, thanks for showing your ride here on Hot Rod Madness, sir. Thank you, I enjoyed it. There we go, Dollar Bill, the Tucker Cruise in, man. Hey, what a show, wow. Hey, those people were pretty cool out there in Tucker, man. Uh, I know I had a blast. What about you, Dollar Bill? Yeah, I had a lot of fun, but I tell you what, I'm kind of tuckered out. He's kind of tuckered out at the Tucker Cruise Inn. The hometown setting, I, I love those shows. Lots of cool people, very down to earth, lots of cool rides. I hope you enjoyed watching. There we go. Uh, stay tuned for more Hot Rod Madness. There's no telling where we'll end up next.